Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade autograph football jerseys. This is first round edition series two, 10 box random team break two from a fresh case right here. And a little bit of fun, get your thinking caps on. We'll do a little bit of who am I as well. Pretty nice uh, sell sheet right here. Now some of these jerseys are, most of those jerseys I think are custom jerseys, but some of them could be like Nike jerseys. So could be some really nice stuff in here. Big thank you to this wonderful group of people here. And there are the teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams 10 times, 10 the hard way, five and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got Clayton down to Gordon. Ten the hard way. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we got the Ravens down to Buffalo. All right, Clayton with the Ravens, Gretchen with the Fly Eagles, Fly, Sean with the Niners, Adam with the Chargers, Gretchen with the Vikings. Martin with the Lions, Gretchen with the Jets, Nick with the Rams, Gordon with the Dolphins, Martin with the Bengals. I don't know if those guys are in there, but maybe. Steve with the Chiefs. We saw him on the sell sheet. Steve Birch with the Seahawks. Peter with the Washington football team. Tony with the Panthers. Adam with the Jags. Brittany with the Browns. And I'm thinking, why couldn't this business be next year's stuff? Brittany with the Browns. Peter with the Bears. Logan with the Saints. Tyler with the Buccaneers. Nick with the Titans. Kevin with the Steelers. Neil with the Pats. Allen with the Pack. Nick with the Texans, Clayton with the Cards, Mike with the Broncos, Brian with the Falcons, Sean with the Cowboys, Drew with the Giants, Barry, you got my Raiders, Nick Galvin with the Colts, and Gordon Phillips with the Buffalo Bills. Let's sort by column B. And we'll pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the breaky break. Stick around. BRB. All right, hi, welcome back, folks. So, a little bit of trade chatter. In the end, no deals were done. So that list you saw in the previous, there it is, right there, remains the same. There's the fresh case right here. Let's pop this baby open. Oh, there's my knife right here, and then let's see what we got. One box right here, off the top one, and then box on the bottom two, box on the side three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and put your thinking caps on. We'll do some lightning rounds of who am I. We'll keep the clues a little easy just because there's so many, there's so many boxes. If you're rewatching the video, you can play along at home. Or you can just kind of fast forward to each jersey. Well, I want to turn off that camera above my head just because I want to maybe not reveal the color of the jersey too early. All right, who are you? Was he really that number? Oh, no, because that's that person. All right, who am I? I Am I an active? Yes, I'm an active cornerback in the NFL. Obviously, all these are first round. There's a first round pick sticker right here. Obviously, these are all first round picks. I was a fifth overall pick out of LSU. Three-time first team All-Pro, eight-time Pro Bowl winner, part of the 2010s All-Decade team already. 
499 tackles, 28 interceptions, 12 fumble recoveries, 1,891 return yards, 5 total touchdowns. Pretty good. Out of LSU. And it's going to go to that person right there. Think cornerbacks, a top five pick, number five overall, early 2000s. Now, the, the jersey is the team that he's currently on right now, but he was originally drafted by the Cardinals in 2011. And he played with the Cardinals for a while, 2011, 2020. But he's with this team now. Not Tyron Matthew. He's with the Vikings now. This goes to the Vikings. In fact, it is Vikings... Oh, I, I know what it is. This is LSU colors, but it's which is pretty similar to Vikings colors. So, cornerback out of LSU in 2011. There we go. Rosario's got it. Patrick Peterson. Adam got it too. There's his autograph. This must be his LSU. Originally, I saw Peterson and I was like, Adrian Peterson wasn't number seven, was he? Yeah, that's his. That's the LSU custom jersey right here. But as you saw in the description, it'll go to the team that they're currently on. He's currently on the Vikings. Going back to the colors, going back to his college colors, and that's Gretchen with the Vikings. Right, McSub's like, ah, the return yard should have really given it away. All right, good start, good start. All right, congrats, Gretch. Let's get the box on the bottom right here. And then we'll just go left to right. All right, good luck. Oh, Logan, you're late. Did, are you in this one? You have the Saints in this one, Logan. We just did the first jersey. This is the second one. No Saints yet. Who are you? Oh, I know who you are. Okay. All right. Um... Remember, these are all first-round picks. I was the 25th pick overall last year in 2020. Who am I? 60 receptions, 748 yards in my rookie year, uh, 77 rushing yards, and seven total touchdowns. I think I'm pretty... Uh, I think I've got some upside. I'd like to think that this player has some upside. Adam's got it. Brandon Ayuk. There's his Niners jersey right there. This looks like it's a, a custom jersey. So there's no logos or anything like that, so I'm not going to keep take it out of the bag. But there you go. Here's a closer look at his autograph. BA, you got the number. It's a Beckett sticker and everything, too. And it's Sean Maddock with the San Francisco 49ers. The Who Am I game also lets me know who's lagging behind. <laughs> Which might be Steve Birch, Sean M, Logan. 
And you have the Saints, by the way, Logan. Did you, I don't know if you've heard that. Or maybe they're just late guessers. I don't know. All right. Good luck. Next one. Uh, I can't tell by the autograph. Who, looks, who are you? There's another custom jersey. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm in the College Football Hall of Fame. I'm a retired linebacker, picked second overall in the late 80s. Second overall in the late 80s. I was picked by this team, but then was I traded? Uh, yeah, I was picked by the Colts and then went to went somewhere went went elsewhere. What happened? Oh, they were unable to come, agree to terms on a contract, then he was dealt to this team, which is the color of his jersey right here. This trade some of you may, may, may be revealing your age here, but uh, this person was in a three-way trade that included Rams running back Eric Dickerson and Bills running back Greg Bell. And it was just before the trade deadline and called the trade of the decade by the New York Times. Um, I have almost 1,200 tackles, 71 and a half quarterback sacks, forced 31 fumbles, seven interceptions, five-time Pro Bowler, Pretty great. I'm not sure how much these are per box, Kiff, but if you, I guess you can go to the description, add up the spots, times 32, divide by 10, and then you'll get the box spot. All right, that's that person. Anything, Joe? No, I'm good. Are you out? All right, Thomas. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Not LT, not Howie Long. Not Taylor. McSubb's got it. Cornelius Bennett, yep, in his Bills jersey right here. Buffalo! Got the David Adams authentication sticker and card. In here, there's his autograph right there. The three-time All-Pro inscription. And this is a custom jersey, so I'm just going to leave it inside, the, nicely folded inside this bag here. All right, which means no Buffalo logo or no NFL shield or, you know, that's just the, the tag right there. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Drafted by the Colts, couldn't come to a deal. And then in a big three-way trade, Gordon Phillips with the Bills. Buffalo! All right, thanks, Gordon. Congrats. Next one. This is box ninety six of a hundred. school guy here. Okay. I was a number one overall pick in the early 80s out of South Carolina. I'm a Gamecock. Who did I play for the longest? I might have to use pro football reference for that. But I'm in the College Football Hall of Fame. In the pros, I played for two teams my entire career. Um, I had, uh, I'm had i a running back, 7,176 rushing yards, 54 rushing touchdowns. Number one overall pick in the early 80s. 
and I played for that team the longest. Okay, the team I was drafted by, I played for the longest, and then I spent the last few years of my career with the Washington Redskins. Now, OJ was drafted way earlier than, than the, in, in 1981. Won the Heisman Trophy in 1980. And this is in his uh, South Carolina Gamecocks colors here. There you go, Devastator. Yeah, it's uh, George Rogers, 1981, number one overall, went to the Saints. And that's where he played the longest. So there you go. That goes to Logan, who got randomized the Saints. So you got the JSA tag right here. There's his 1980 Heisman. There's the JSA sticker inscription. There's his autograph right there, George Rogers. Pretty nice. There you go, Logan. Go Logan's favorite player. Yeah, Log Logan remembers watching uh watching George Rogers when you were a kid, right? He's in the Saints Hall of Fame. George Rogers, uh, his South Carolina gain cost number 38, also retired. Uh -oh, maybe. It's not good when you have, uh, in your Wikipedia, if you have a, a, a section that says drug arrests. Ah, oh, it was the 80s. Everyone used that in the 80s, though. Good news, though. Since then, he, he has he has uh, appears to have overcome those problems. Works as all modern in public relations and fundraising. He speaks out against the drug culture. So there you go, George Rogers, turning his life around. All right. Who are you? I see Hall of Fame '98. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I was, ooh, interesting. This is supposed to be first round edition, which I assume means they're all first rounders, but this person was a second round pick, 38th overall in 1981. Played for one team my entire career. A long time coach, a Super Bowl champion, 10 time pro bowler, uh, pro football hall of fame, college football hall of fame, 1400, almost 1500 tackles, 19 sacks, seven interceptions, Part of the 1980s All-Decade team. Two-time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. He's pretty good. He's pretty, pretty good. And all he wants is winners. There you go. Logan, Nicholas, and Evans got it. It's Mike Singletary. Cannot play with him. Cannot win with him. Cannot coach with him. Can't do it. I want winners. I want people that want to win. Nice. So there it is. You, you even got a little picture of him right there. Got the Hall of Fame inscription right there. You got his, got his autograph right on the classic five over there. This looks like a, yeah, it's a custom jersey. So I'm gonna, just gonna keep it nicely folded in here, but it is pretty, pretty nice. You got the Beckett card back there, Beckett sticker down there. Nice bears, Peter Lombardo with the bears. That's one of, one of my, uh, one of my favorite quotes of all time. 
Who was that about? I forget off the top of my head. He, I think he was coaching with the Niners at the time. And he was unhappy with someone's performance. And then, uh, yeah, and then went off. All right, Peter Lombardo with the Bears. Nice. I know. That's what I thought. I thought this was... I thought the first round... Yeah, each box contains a first round draft pick. Singletary was not, but I suppose we could make an exception for someone like him. That's right, he went from one bear to, he was a Baylor bear, and then turned into a Chicago bear. He's, 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 he's been a bear most of his, most of his life. Okay, I was a third overall pick in the mid-80s. I was a third overall pick out of Purdue. Played for three teams my entire career. Did have a Pro Bowl with the first team that drafted me. 203 touchdowns, 175 interceptions, 34,837 passing yards, and ended my career with a 78.6 QBR. I was a two-time passing touchdown leader in the 80s with the team, late 80s with the team that drafted me as well. Who am I? I share the name with an Australian footballer as well. That, I mean, that might give it away, but. Yeah, Adam Coverman wants to see them make an exception with Trevor Lawrence. And this person also had a little run-in with, uh, with Jim Rome in the early days of Jim Rome's career. If you know who Jim Rome is, sports talk radio personality. I think it was one of his first times trying TV. And they had a little bit of an altercation. A classic, if you are of a certain age and era. A classic moment. Even if you're younger, it's, it's, it's worth watching on YouTube. Logan's got the first name right. There you go. Nicholas Galvin's got it. Jim Everett. Yeah. So there's the JSA card. There's the JSA sticker. There's Jim Everett's autograph. The number 11 inscription. Right, yeah. So, yeah. They, I don't know why that even... Why, why I, I don't know if Jim Rome was just goading him from the get-go... But they, they must have gotten off the, off on the wrong foot somewhere because I forget what the backstory was, but they must have gotten on the wrong foot. Nick Stober as the Rams. And he kept calling him Chris Everett, you know, the, the accomplished tennis player, uh, women's tennis player. And, and uh, Jim Everett took exception to that. Okay, Chris. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a classic moment. All right, next one. We've got one, we've got four left. One here, three more in there. Good luck. Who are you? What do we got here? Ah. All right, this person is, is in his college gear, so it'll go to the team. Oh, no, is this his pro gear? What's his pro number? No, I think that was his, that's his college number. 
What's the team that he is currently on? I guess he's a free agent now, but we'll just give it the team that he was most recently on. I think that makes more sense. He's still an active player. Someone's got to pick him up at some point. Okay, so who am I? Tenth pick overall. Was an NFL Offensive Player of the Year and an NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year and a two-time Pro Bowler. Two-time NFL Rushing Touchdowns Leader. Part of the PFWA All-Rookie Team. Currently have a career 6,082 rushing yards, 67 rushing touchdowns, 2,254 receiving yards, and 12 receiving touchdowns. Who am I? Drafted in 2015. Yeah, Mix Up's got it. Todd Gurley. There you go. Todd Gurley. In his Georgia gear right there. Yeah, Evan's got it too. In his Georgia 3. There's the Beckett card and the Beckett sticker right here. And that'll go to the ATL. Brian Hayes with that one. All right, maybe, maybe he... Uh, Maybe he gets back on his feet somewhere. Are the Jets maybe thinking about picking him up? That might not be a bad pickup. All right. He might be lagging behind just, just a couple minutes or so. He was guessing David Johnson. All right. Next. This player is no longer in the NFL, but was a hot commodity leading up to his entry into the NFL. I was a number 22 overall pick. And I currently play, I'm, I'm out of the NFL, but. But I currently play with the Zappers of the FCF. The Professional Indoor Football League. Still playing. But he was number 22 overall pick. Uh, born in Tyler, Texas. Went to A&M. Drafted 22nd by by the uh, Browns, which is this is where the Browns it's going to go to. It's in his A&M uh, gear, though. Yeah, it was Johnny Manziel. Man, won a Heisman Trophy too. Leading up to, leading up to that. Remember, we did a lot of breaks in 2014 where people were chasing Johnny Football and just didn't just didn't work out. All the JSA stuff right there. It's a custom jersey, custom college jersey. All right. He's still playing though. He must he must love the game. I mean, there are some questions about it. is his head in the game for the game of football, but yes, he is. Who has the Browns? That's going to go to go to Brittany Gibson with the Browns. Maybe some some A and M fan would be would be big on that. Well, I think it's an, I think from the Wikipedia, it's an indoor football league, Mike Tower.
No, Adam, you you were mistaken. You did not get randomized the the zappers. Two more to go. All right, all right, all right. What do we got here? Oh, all right. Here's a nice thing. Does this look like an authentic jersey? Could be a Nike jersey. All right. All right. This is this is a nice big name here. I was drafted. I'm a running back, retired running back. Twelfth overall. Played for one, two, three, three teams my entire career. A Super Bowl champ, a first team All Pro, a five time Pro Bowler, two time NFL rushing touchdowns leader in consecutive years, part of the NFL 2010's All Decade team. In college, first team All American, first team All Pac 10, that might give it away. Um, Pac 10 Offensive Player of the Year, career 10,413 rushing yards, A5 rushing touchdowns, 287 receptions. 2,214 receiving yards, nine receiving touchdowns. It's a pretty, pretty charismatic player as well. I think just recently was in the news because he had uh, some part ownership in a in an indoor football league, I think. Something like that. But yeah in Oakland, where he's from. Evan Cohen's got it, yep, and PJ's got it too. Marshawn Lynch. Nice. So that's a good looking jersey right here. Feels a little bit heavier. So you got the Marshawn Lynch Certificate of Authenticity card. Mill Creek Sports, there's his autograph right there. This is a good looking jersey. There's his sticker right here. This is, yeah, this is a Nike jersey. So that I think that's Steve Birch. Yeah, Steve Birch with the Seattle Seahawks. It's a good looking jersey right there. You got the Nike swoosh. You got the Nike swoosh. On the sleeve right there, pretty good quality. You got still have the the Nike tag on there. Must be some other fun stuff we can take a look at. There you go, laundry tag there on the bottom. You got the the twelves in the collar. The NFL shield right here. It says Seahawks right on the shoulder on the collarbone right here. That's pretty awesome. Pretty nice. Is he a part owner in the FCF? Oh, we were learning a lot about the FCF today. Let's see if I can get this back into the... Fun fact, Marshawn Lynch will not sign card for men? Really? It's kind of a weird, weird thing. Women and children only, he says. I guess, I guess a, a demographic group, group that would actually appreciate it. And it's not for resale, I suppose. Well, he signed for, he signed for these guys. All right, so nice uh, Nike jersey too, which I really like. A little extra air in here. All right, so Seahawks, once again, that's Lydia Birch in the chat. There's Steve Birch. There you go. Congrats. Nice. Played for the Raiders a little bit, too, which I was happy about. That was a lot of fun. Yep, 
Yeah, could have had one more Super Bowl. One more ring under his belt. Or on his hand, I guess. Not under his belt. All right, and here's, here's the final one right here. Good luck, everybody. one is all right so I am a an active wide receiver a wide receiver 21st overall last year had 31 receptions, 396 receiving yards, 94 return yards, 26 rushing yards, a couple touchdowns. I feel like he's got a it's a late first round pick. He's he's got some decent upside. Maybe with some new coaching. And maybe with the quarterback that shares my first name. If he does pretty if he takes it to the next level, that could be pretty nice. Went to uh Waxahachie High High School in Texas. And then went to TCU, stayed in state, before being drafted, going out of state. The Eagles fans here at Jaspies, it's Jalen Ragor, Nicholas Galvin, you got it. The Eagles fans here seem to really like this kid too. All right, so there's the Beckett card, the Beckett sticker. He's got some good penmanship. That's always appreciated. And that's, uh, I think that's Gretchen with the Eagles. Yeah, there you go, Gretchen. And this also looks like a Nike jersey? Yeah, it's a Nike jersey. All right, so it's worth a, worth taking out and looking up. Fly, Eagles, fly. So there, there's the 18. You got the Eagles logo up here, the NFL shield right at the V of the jersey. The laundry tag, this, these are all, all, always cool to get that. The Nike swoosh, the Eagles logo on the sleeve. Should be a laundry tag on the bottom, there it is. Pretty nice. There you go, I'll, I'll fold that up nicely, Gretchen, before. But there it is, there you go. Um, once again, Gretchen with the Eagles. And that was the last box of a Hit Parade football autographed first round edition. Autograph, although Mike Singletary was second round, but we'll give him a pass. He's a legend. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, That's our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.